with semi-automatic, how big's the clip? Six, four, four shot clip. All right, this is Beretta semi-automatic three shot shotgun, 12 gauge. Branding 280, four shot clip, semi-automatic. This is a model 19, or 18, 1894, 30-30, Winchester. All right, this is a remake of John Wayne's Colt 45 that he used in all of his movies, six shot. What, what year was that? Made? Start off 12 gauge shotgun. This is in Richmond. This is a Taurus 9mm pistol. It's. Yeah. Here's another 9mm. This is a 9 shot 22 revolver. Now, it's recording. Okay, okay this is a Rick's 50 caliber sniper rifle. It's a very large caliber gun. There's these bipods that come down for increased accuracy. Look at the size of the muzzle on it. Also, it loads into the back, back here. Pull that up, pull it back, put it in there. Close it back up and fire. It has a scope on it up to, accurate up to 1,000 yards, which is 300, 3,000 feet, so. No. All right, so. Comes on. Now remember the zoom in on the gun, like, so that it's focused, so you can Well, go, it's recording. All right, this is a 50 caliber Desert Eagle made by Magnum Research. It's the largest caliber pistol in the world and probably the biggest. Here's the size of the bullet. Okay, got it. Into you. Stop. All right, this is a Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. It's loaded and it has a rubber grip for better accuracy so it's not to slip also. Okay. Uh, Alright, this is a Browning uh, 380 pistol. It's not loaded and I'm not proud of it at the moment. But it's probably one of his prettiest guns with the wooden stock and chrome like gun itself. I've never shot this one, but hopefully I will sometime. Recording. Alright, this is a Jericho. A uh, 9mm pistol. It's not a very widely heard of uh, type of pistol, but it's made in Israel along with her. And it's also the Desert Eagles are, and Desert Eagles are some of the best guns. Israelites can make very nice guns. Uzis are some of the guns that they make, so this one, odds are, is a pretty good gun. Very good 9mm. It's probably one of the prettier of his 9mm. All right, this is a Glock 9mm, also known as Plastic Fantastic. It's one of the better of the 9mm pistols in the world. I've heard that you can literally pour sand down into the barrel and it'll still shoot. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, hold it up and I'll get the gun. Right. Okay, go. All right, this is a Weatherby 300 Magnum. It's a large caliber hunting rifle, bolt action. I think it's single shot. And the thing with this is, this gun only uses Weatherby made um, rounds so they can charge as much as they want for the people that own this gun. Let me zoom in on it. Go! This is a Ruger Mini 30, 223 caliber with a scope on top. It's one of the more fun guns to shoot, and this is an assault rifle. Now. All right, this is AR-14, like the ones they used in Vietnam that you see everywhere today. It's also a 223 caliber gun, and the M16s had this too, but this shows, this one's not as bad. It shows how bad of a gun it was. This button right here is made whenever they jam. You'd have to hit that with your hand to, to lock the bolt back up. So in combat, and they used the M16s, it's much, much like this wasn't all that good of a gun. Okay, go. All right, this is a Winchester Defender 12-gauge pump shotgun. So it's got a shorter barrel, so it's better for uh, short distance shooting, but it's not something you'd really want to hunt with. All right, this is a, a riot rifle used by the SWAT team, 12-gauge. It can be switched from pump, or it can be used as pump or semi-automatic. It's made in Italy. We're not sure how to pronounce uh, 
who makes it. And we're not sure how many bullets it holds, but we'll shoot it sometimes and maybe we'll record that. There you go. All right, this is a AK-47, a gun that everybody knows about. Uh, this one's got um, added feature of the, the way of holding this instead of just being a handle. It's got this hole so you can hold it a lot better and easier. It's caliber 7.62 by 39, and I'm not sure how big the clip is. All right, this is a FAL sportsman made assault rifle. It's one of the most high powered ones that I've ever heard of. It takes, it's a 308 size shell, which will just about blow your head off. And it's got this added uh, handle to carry. It's a rather heavy gun, but it's still accurate. Okay. This is a MK85 Knight muzzleloader. It's 50 caliber with a scope, and this also has a rather neat handle to it. All right, this is an M1 carbine. They used these in World War II, but mostly in uh, the Korean War. This was our first assault rifle, and uh, the people in the Korean War found that the low caliber of the gun, which is 30 caliber, was not enough to penetrate through the quilt-like uniforms that they had. It took many shots, and this one's not fully automatic, but they were, and this was, like I said, America's first assault rifle. All right, this is an SKS assault rifle. It is, this one's not fully automatic, but I believe they were the, I think Japanese or Russian made. This one has also a bayonet. It's almost like a Phillips head screwdriver and would hurt pretty bad to be put into you. Okay, let me get the gun a little bit better. Go. All right, this is a Maverick, Maverick 12 gauge pump shotgun and it's camouflage. Uh, I like to go hunting with this one maybe sometime. All right, this is a Ruger 357 Magnum revolver. Uh, I think this is one of three that Rick has. This also have, has a rubber and wooden stock. Okay, let me see. All right, this is a Desert Eagle 44 Magnum um, pistol. This is the same one, the same people that make the 50 caliber Magnum, uh, Magnum Research. These are made by Israel also. Okay. All right, this is an intra, in, intra track, in 22. Um, it's not a very good gun, but it rarely does shoot all that long from jamming, but Still, it's a gun. That's a gun. Go. All right, this is the German-made SIG P2, P226 9mm pistol. Hold it quiet. No. Yeah, okay. I don't think I got two. All right, this is a Ruger 22 caliber long rifle pistol. And it's also modeled, it seems to be modeled after the German made uh, Luger. Okay. 44 Magnum. Yeah. That'd be fun to help with. I'd like to. I'd be afraid to shoot them out there, but. It's a Red Hawk. Red Hawk 44 Magnum. Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum. This is a Super Red Hawk uh, Ruger made 44 Magnum revolver pistol with a loop hog scope on it. This would be good for hunting and. Yeah. Hold it up. It's very pretty gun, too. Oh. Alright, this is a German made, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce who makes it, but this is a target pistol for target um, shooting and tournaments and such. And I think the little clip on this thing is really cool. 22 caliber. Hold the gun up. Okay, I'm recording.
Yeah. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Wow. Okay, I'm recording. Yeah. Wow. Into the area where he'll be now shooting off the fireworks. Looks weird. I know. <laughs> All right, ready? Two. I think I got it. Go. Better be pressing cold record. Yeah. 